Thank you for joining me in yet another exercise in which I will be reading a paragraph to you, such as the one behind me. Embedded within the paragraph are the potential for errors related to grammar, syntax, punctuation, and so forth. So please bear that in mind as you listen to me read it to you. Uh, afterwards, I will step out of frame and then ask that you read the paragraph independently to make your corrections on your own and then resume so that you and I can make corrections together. I'll go ahead and start by reading, of course, with our title, which is partially cut off already. Uh, Dinotopia is the title of the paragraph. So where can you read about humans and intelligent dinosaurs that have lived together for centuries? You can, you can in James Gurney's series of books about a land of intelligent dinosaurs. The first book in the series, Dinotopia, A Land Apart from Time, introduces readers to biologist and explorer Arthur Dennison and his son Will, who are shipwrecked on a hidden island. There, they encounter intelligent dinosaurs living in harmony with maroon travelers. All right, go ahead and pause the video here to make those corrections and resume when you're ready to correct with me. <coughs> All right, I am moving and shaking, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight in. Uh, right at the beginning, of course, you should know to start every sentence with a capital letter, but we're going to go ahead and do that now. Oops, assuming this doesn't get away from me. Where... Can you read, we have a double vowel, uh, we actually are, this is read like a plant, right? Like a, a read of a, I don't know, like a marshland grass, let's say, or an instrument read, right? Like the wooden read inside of a wood, wood instrument. Here we want read as an R-E-A-D, like I've read something with my eyes on paper or screen, E-A-D. We read about humans and intelligent dinosaurs that have lived together for centuries, question mark, rhetorical question. Well, you can in James Gurney's, James being a proper noun, right? His first name, so let's go ahead and capitalize that. James Gurney's series of books about a land of intelligent dinosaurs, period. We've concluded that thought. New sentence, we're going to go ahead and take that definitive article and capitalize it. The first book in this series, comma, Dinotopia, A Land Apart from Time, comma, uh, introduces readers to biologist and explorer Arthur Dennison. Dennison, we can assume to be his surname, which is a proper noun. Let's go ahead and capitalize that. And his son, Will. So through the context of the sentence, I know that this will is a name, right? It's not like a conditional. So we're going to go ahead and capitalize it. Comma, who are shipwrecked on a hidden island, period. Let's go ahead and capitalize there, the T in there, I should say. Th there, they encounter intelligent dinosaurs living in harmony, double vowel at the end, Harmony is actually spelled H-A-R-M-O-N-Y, I apologize for my handwriting, with marooned travelers. And then we conclude that paragraph with a, or that sentence with a period. Alrighty, uh, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, uh, please give it a like or the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to continue to practice with me. All right, I look forward to working with you in the next one. Thank you.